Kong Skull Island, where man meets monsters. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So Kong Skull Island is directed by Jordan Vock Roberts, who's known for The Kings of Summer, which came out a few years ago, which I did not see. And unlike the King Kong film that came out in 2005, directed by Peter Jackson, this one gets straight to the point. And when I say that, I mean it because the first frame of this movie, and it's something that I liked about it, is the scope. As you're looking at the screen, and you're like, man, this thing is big, like huge, humongous. And that's just a great way to set the tone for the adventure that you're about to go on. Now, this movie is filled with a star-studded cast of familiar faces that you've seen from all around the place. First, you have Tom Hiddleston. Then you have Brie Larson, who won the Academy Award back in 2015 for Best Leading Actress in Room. Then you have John Goodman, who's been in pretty much everything. He's great. Toby Kebbell has been in a few movies, and I believe he's doing the most in capture for Kong in this movie. He also did great. Corey Hawkins and Jason Mitchell, who played Easy e and Dr. Dre in Straight Outta Compton. And you know I love that movie to death. And also John C. Riley. This guy's hilarious. And last but not least, Samuel Jackson with his cocky, arrogant ass, and I'll touch on him later. So what Kong Skull Island is about is you have these scientists and you have these businessmen who have this rogue organization and they come together and they discover an island and they want to go investigate and have an adventure. So they grab up a bunch of men and they go over to the island to investigate, not knowing what's really there. Or do they? And when they get there, the shit hits the fan. And just like John C. Riley says in the trailer, We're all gonna die together out here. <laughs> you shouldn't have come here. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have come here. Now just touching on the characters a bit more, I love them all. They all had a great stake in the game. They had a great stake in the fight. I love John C. Riley, and I also love Samuel L. Jackson to a point. And Samuel L. Jackson is his normal Samuel L. Jackson cranked up to 50. He's a soldier and he wants to serve and do right by his country. And for a while you like that and you respect it. But then the guy just turns into this complete asshole that knows it all and doesn't want to listen to anybody and just throws logic and reason completely out the door. And you're like, Sam, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why, why, why? I mean, seriously, it gets to the point to where you want to jump in the screen and punch this guy in the face yourself. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? I mean, he's just one of those people you can't convince there's a fire even when his head is burning. I mean, his head could literally be on fire. Sam, put the fire out. Your head is burning. No, my head isn't burning. The sun is just closer to the earth. And that's what it is. I mean, you're going to be like, really, dude? Really? Come on now. But that's his character. I liked him in the beginning. He was a strong, steadfast character, but he can turn into a complete moron later on to where I didn't want to get behind him at all. Now, like I said, the scope is huge in this whole movie. I mean, it looks big. Try to see this movie in IMAX 3D, the biggest screen as possible. It is worth your money. And something else that I like is just a lot of the small details that most people don't pay attention to. And that's just the way the film is shot and framed and the way they do slow-mo and tied in with all the effects and whatnot. It's just really cool just seeing a bunch of soldiers on a, a, a ship walking to the helicopter in slow-mo. It was just cool. It was epic. It was nice to look at, to see helicopters hovering over the water in slow-mo with the blades going boom, 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 boom. I don't know why, but the blades going back and forth, they look badass. I mean, I kind of wanted to learn how to fly a helicopter after seeing this movie because the what the director did in shooting it just made it look so cool. What's also great about the movie is how funny it is. Now, don't let that scare you. It's not jokes. These are funny moments because they're trapped on the island and King Kong or Kong is going around, as you see from the trailers, knocking helicopters out. You got monsters over here, monsters over there, and blah, blah, blah. Is the movie serious? Oh, yes. The movie is serious and people die violently to where you're like, oh, 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 my gosh. Like back and forth over and over and over again. But at times it's still funny because they have certain characters here and there that you can relate to and they are reacting to the situation the exact same way you would if you were trapped on the island and didn't know what the hell to do. It's funny. It makes for great entertainment. Now, of course, what you all come to see is the action. You want to know if Kong, King Kong, Rick Shop on Skull Island and beats the hell out of these monsters 
and yes he does and it is amazing now doing all this the cgi was great you can still tell that it was cgi at points but for the most part it's good and it's passable this isn't the you know breaking new rules and worlds with an avatar where it looks real and all euphoric and whatnot some of the things you can tell that it is CGI, but it didn't ruin the movie. It didn't take me out of the film, and I still enjoyed it, and you will too. But seriously, King Kong is a beast and not to be messed with, especially if you're coming to his turf starting crap. You just can't do that. You just can't come to somebody's house dropping bombs, expecting nothing to happen without them retaliating. And for some reason, Samuel Jackson's character, his dumb ass, just doesn't understand that. But that's okay. I'm not going to spend any more time on him. But another great thing about this movie is it really feels like a true epic adventure. You really feel like you're on the island stuck with these characters just like they are. You just want them to get out and just get away and survive. And they all don't survive. And what's great about it is a lot of people sometimes can make fun of cannon fodder in movies like, oh, they're just throwing a bunch of characters in there so they can die. Well, yeah, so what? Who cares? That's exactly what they did in this movie. And it worked. It worked perfectly. I want to see death and destruction. I mean, that's just what you come to see. Do you want to see a Kong Skull Island movie where Kong doesn't whoop anybody or he doesn't kill anybody or the monsters don't kill anybody? You know, you will be disappointed and you're not going to be disappointed with this. The action is all around you. It's in your face. It, it warns you when it's coming and it also surprises you and sneaks up on you at times. I mean, sometimes when they're just going through the forest trying to make their rounds, you know, you're just walking looking like, Oh, okay, is that a tree? Oh, no, shit, it's a monster. And, it, and, and it's like, oh, damn. I mean, and when the death comes, it comes from all around. And it's epic. I mean, and you're on the edge of your seat like, man, are these people really going to survive? And when they're trying to survive, they're trying to survive. They're shooting their guns and pulling out knives and stabbing and going like this. And you're like with them too, like doing this in your seat. Like, uh, get out, get out. <laughs> like, seriously, that's what you're going to, I mean, that's what I did in the movie. I don't know if that's what you're going to be doing, but that's what I'm doing. And I'm just trying to tell you my experience, my opinion. And that's just how great it is because I was just into the movie that much. But seriously, I mean, you care about Kong, you care about most of the characters and you want them to succeed. And the movie flows. This is like easily, I think like right over 90 minutes, just an hour and a half long, not too short, not too long, just perfect. And it's, it's pretty simple. They get stuck on the island and they're just trying to escape. And that's basically it. And you're going to see some action and adventure inside of this here and there. And it's fun. And people are dying left and right. And you don't know who's going to survive. And I mean, it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun. And it's, it's, it's really hard not to love. And if you want to see King Kong go through and just whoop the shit out of all these monsters, I mean, you're going to get everything you want. You're going to have a good time, just like I did. I'm not saying that this blew me away and it's the best action movie ever known to man. No, but it's pretty good. And met my expectations which were pretty mediocre and before i forget make sure you stay after the credits because it is there is an after credit scene and in my opinion it's worth it so if i were to rate kong skull island from a one out of a ten i would give it a nine out of a ten yes a nine out of a ten but hey guys that's just my opinion have you seen kong skull island do you want to see it have i turned you on have i turned you off do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. Also guys, go ahead and like my Facebook page. There's a link for it in the description. And also you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff. So guys, thank you again for tuning in for my review slash opinion for Kong Skull Island. And go see it. It's a great movie. You're going to love it. And don't forget, before you go, that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.